right, Lauren. While Lauren is talking about natural snow falling on Thursday, the machine-made stuff is already falling at three ski resorts in our state. And skiers and boarders can't wait. Mountain Newsroom reporter Matt Kroschel live at Loveland tonight. Matt, they plan on taking advantage of this cool down that's headed our way. Absolutely. They already started to uh, fire up those snow guns this week. There's already a little pile here accumulating at the bottom of the hill. The snow guns are ready to go as those cold temperatures keep up here in the high country. And with that forecast for more natural snow, well, Loveland is hoping they'll be able to stay in the race to open first. It will still be a few more weeks before these lifts at Loveland will be turning for skiers and boarders. There is a lot to do. It's just not snowmaking. It's all departments coming together, working together to get this mountain open. Hey, when you see the white stuff, you know uh, ski season's right around the corner. This week is all about the final touches as the ski season quickly approaches. Uh, there definitely is a buzz, and people are ready to kick off the season. Dustin Schaefer says that buzz in the air signals the best time of the year, the anticipation of opening day. We have our snowmaking team working hard. They've gotten some very strong uh, nights in making snow the past three, four days. Uh, they've been averaging 12 hours a day of making snow. And with those snow guns firing up and Mother Nature expected to help, it won't be much more of a wait until there's enough snow on the ground for these snow cats to actually roam freely. The snow is a little icy out here. Uh, but that's because of our daytime temperatures. Listen, October 20th, last year is when Loveland opened the earliest they've ever opened in the history books. That was back in 1951 when they opened on September 30th. We're live at Loveland, Matt Groeschel covering Colorado First. Oh, we love those little tidbits, but thanks, Matthew.